हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द पार्ट फाइव ऑफ आवर वर्ल्ड प्रेस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर्स सीरीज इन विच आई हैव शेयर्ड सम ऑफ द टॉप क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू वर्ल्ड प्रेस दैट द इंटरव्यूअर कैन आस्क यू टू इंश्योर यू आर कैपेबल फॉर दिस पोस्ट सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल एंड वॉन्ट टू वॉच द फर्स्ट फोर वीडियोज यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक इन द आई बटन आल्सो यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक ऑफ द प्ले इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो so let's get started so the question number 41 that the interviewer can ask you is how many types of users wordpress have the first one is administrator they have full rights over our site next is editor they deal with the content section of our website next is author they only deal with their post they can delete their post even after publishing up next is contributor a contributor does not have the right to publish their post or page they need to send it to the administrator for review next is subscriber users who are subscribed to your site can log in and update their profile second last is follower they don't have any right they can only read and comment on your post and the final one is viewer they can only read and comment on a post question number 42 will explain tags in wordpress with the help of tags similar post can be grouped hence it makes more comfortable for the users to search for a particular post tags are similar to categories but still different Question number forty-three is very important, which is explain the difference between WordPress categories and tags. WordPress categories are broad-ranging. It helps a user to identify about a blog. It is possible for a post to have more than one category. A post must have at least one category. WordPress tags are like categories, but they are used to describe a post more specifically. Tags are not necessary for every post. What are WordPress themes? A WordPress theme is a group of files that includes graphics, style sheets, and code that dictates the overall appearance of your blog or website. With the help of a WordPress theme, you can design the layout and appearance of your WordPress in the front end. Next is how will you select a WordPress theme? WordPress theme should be complement your site. It can be either free or paid. An ideal theme should have qualities like simple, responsive, sports plugins, SEO friendly. What is difference between custom themes and normal themes? Custom themes are very straightforward to format. You don't need much technical knowledge to change in the coding part. The custom themes allows for SEO search, but with an SEO plugin available, it would not make much difference to a normal theme. What is the difference between free and paid WordPress theme? A free theme are indeed totally free with no strings attached. The lack of features in free themes makes them lean and therefore typically fast to load. However, the premium themes will come with far more functionalities out of the box. Ongoing sports and updates mean premium themes are more secure in the long run. What are WordPress plugins? WordPress plugins are programs written in PHP scripting language that extends the functionality or add some new features to our WordPress site. They provides additional functions to an application. When will you not be able to see the plugin menu on our WordPress site? When a site is hosted on wordpress.com instead of wordpress.org, plugin menu will not appear. Also, if you don't have an account for the administrator level you can't see the plugin menu and the final one is what are the plugins you can use to create a contact form in wordpress you can use a plugin like gravity forms or a free plugin contact form 7 to create a contact form in wordpress that's it for today please like share and subscribe our channel and also press bell icon to get notification about future updates where i will upload more questions about wordpress interview thanks for watching